Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today will be our final day here. Uh, we'll be packing up tomorrow. Monkey's doing the best she can to unflood the tent. So she brought some towels too. So hopefully tonight will go better than Friday night. And uh, so we're going to get our camp situated here. Let's see if I can help her dry that out. And then once the water's out of it, it won't take long to dry. I'll put some fans in there and let the fans blow on it and it'll dry it out. So stick around, guys. Okay, so Monkey got it all dried out. Didn't take long at all, did it? No. She just swept it out here. Yeah. I made a little trough work right now. That dried up no. This dried up actually in about 20 minutes, didn't it? Yeah, not bad. Well, after she, she took the towels and wiped it up, and it's all dry now. So, Bruno's in the car. I got a fan hooked up for him in there. Yeah, he's hot. <laughs> but, so. Hopefully we'll get this going tonight. Use this. Yeah. We'll get a fire going because we're going to cook on the fire tonight. Yep. This is where that burnt through. It's a miracle. It didn't, didn't break. No, it did not break. Thunder. The mantles did, of course, but you can break those just by just setting it down. They'll fall off sometimes. We don't have any new ones. Might have in my pack, but I thought I used them. But the globe is fine. It didn't bust. There's no dents in it. Because that's never burned through. So next time I do that, I'll wrap some foil. I should get some of that aluminum foil tape. Oh, if I'm going to be hanging it like that. But, yeah, so it, <laughs> yeah, it's the first time it's ever, ever burnt through. So, anyway, that's cool. I'm calling for rain about four, but you never know. Um, if it does, I still got the stove. I can cook on the stove. What are we making? We're making sausage and peppers. I think you're putting onion in there too, aren't you? Yep. Sausage, peppers, and onions. Yeah. So what I want to do is put it in a foil and put it in a fire. Um, but if not, I can still make it on that in a pan. It's no big deal. Yeah. So yeah, we've actually just been sitting here for about a half an hour. Huh? Yeah. Well, we, letting that air out and dry. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we've just been. Yeah. You know. Just to get that done, the then we can put the top back on. And go to the house for a while if you want. It's up to you. I'm not going to the house. I'm staying. You're staying? Okay. Why do I want to go to the house? To get the stuff. But you're bringing your mom back, right? Yeah. So, how can I go to the house? Oh. I see. Let me see them eyes again. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so... What, are we going to throw her up on top in a rocking chair like Granny Clampett? She'd like that. Yeah, she would, but She'd we're not that doing that. Fun. We're not. I, I think there's laws against that in the United States by having your granny yeah, tied up on the roof of your car. She'd just be fun. We do need to get, we need to get a vehicle we can take the doors off and stuff, like a Jeep. Huh? Like a Jeep. Yeah. I don't like Jeeps. I don't either, really. I like them, but I don't like them. I've been in one. Hey, one Musty time. just bought him a Volkswagen thing. What's that? It. Is it a car or an SUV? Or? It's a car, SUV, Jeep, Volkswagen. Oh, yeah. They look weird. No, they actually look. They're one of the better looking Volkswagens. It's a four door. The top comes off. The windshield goes down onto the hood mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And the doors come off. No, oh, wow, interesting. Yeah. They just knew out? No. Oh. This is a 74. I think they sold them here um, in the States only two years. I think it was 73 and 74. Monk was got one. Oh, yeah? But I think they made them. Jesus. But actually, I think what when they because they were made in Germany, right? Mm -hmm. So I think they made them from '69 to '80 or something like that. But they only sold them here for two years, '73 and '74. Oh, their parts would be so expensive. I had that Jetta, and it's from Germany. Oh my God! The well, parts all Volkswagens on? are. Oh. Unbelievable on the price of stuff. Yeah, but this that's okay. Thing. That's that's a Jetta. We're talking older style Volkswagens. Still expensive. No, not. F I could build you. I could restore a Volkswagen Beetle for four grand. Come on, that's new engine parts, transmission parts. It's to work. Chop, chop. But yeah, those things are cool. I don't really care for Jeeps, but an old Jeep would be cool from the 40s or 50s and old Willys. Army I'd be all right. Style? Huh? Army style? Yeah. That'd be cool. What's an option in them? What do you want in it? I don't know. What do you mean there's nothing in it? Well, I'm sure their seats aren't very comfortable if we did a long trip in them. You don't, they're not made for long trips. They're made for cruising around on days like this when it's hot. You got the top off, you got your oh, doors you mean, off. Like going in the forest and mudding kind of thing? If you want, you can go mudding. They'll go anywhere. They go in water, right? So, anyway, guys, they go in water. <laughs> that goes in water. We've it's had not it. Supposed to. We've had it in the rain a lot. Of, hun, I'm, ta I'm not talking about a, a four before. I'm not talking about a mud and Jeep. I'm talking about a Jeep to cruise around here in oh. and to take camping and stuff. I get it. I mean, yeah, you can go four, four before, but that thing shouldn't have went through the mud it went through. But we yeah, don't do it all the time. I was just, I was just trying to four wheel drive. It's fine. Okay, guys. So anyway, well, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we're definitely going to try this out. It, what'd you say the temperature was? 91. 91. That's the actual temperature, but not real feel. So real feel is probably around 100 still. But we got a breeze today. So that's good. So I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have to find some wood and stuff to get a fire started. Um, and then I'm going to have to find some wood to cook on. Of the car. Well, that's not cooking wood. That's dead pine. <laughs> but we'll find something that's not a big deal. We're in the forest. I'm sure I can find some wood to cook on. It won't take a lot. So, all right, guys, I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, let's open this up. Let's make sure it's all here. We bought this a while back when we went to the fire tower. It's never been opened. Here's what we got inside. It gives you all the instructions you need to know about this. Right here. Okay. And I like that it's already got these. The last time I did this was probably 2011 or the beginning of 2012 I did one of these now I wasn't YouTubed I wasn't YouTubed YouTubing yet okay so I never made any videos of it um, so what I would do is I'd get my own stuff like for the bow I would use a big sassafras tree you know like kind of like a limb but it's like sassafras trees that grow about this big around I would use one of them and then I would use whatever wood I could for you know my fireboard this is our spindle here and this is our bearing our bearing block and I would use whatever I could with it um, like I would use pine for like this 
the bearing block I would use hardwood sometimes I would use pine for this or maple just whatever I could get out of the forest the last time I did this I timed it it took 20 minutes now that was you know 10 11 years ago 11 years ago ish okay so this is what they give you they call this they call this um, kindling but this is actually tender uh, you use tinder to start your kindling. Uh, kindling is small pieces of twigs. We, we took a ride up through the woods up there and uh, drug back some stuff. I brought my little battery saw. So I got a bunch of wood cut up there. We found a pallet. So that's going to be for our, our cooking, the pallet wood. Um, so let's go ahead and get this out. We know it's all here now. So this is going to go like this. This is going to go like this, and then you'll use your bow like this, and it spins this back and forth. And these notches are cut in because you put your your tinder underneath there, and then you'll tap the dust from here out this little this little cutout here, and then you'll blow it into a flame. We're going to do that, but like I said, it's I think Monkey said the heat index is 103. But this is just jute twine is all this is. Plus I got some Spanish moss over there. Um, but here's all the instructions. Um, I'm not going to need them because I, like I said, I've done this before. But so I'm going to go ahead and cool down for a few minutes. I just got done processing the wood. I saved you from, I didn't film that. Because to me, I feel like it's boring for you guys just to watch somebody cut wood. Um, but... So I'm going to get a drink. Um, my tooth pain is holding off. It's about an 8 or 9 right now. So, uh, And I forgot I forgot my Tylenol and my Orgel. So um, she's going to bring it back. Because she's going to go get her mom's what she's doing. So I'm going to film this. And like I said, I'm going to cool down for a minute. See what this does. Is you'll put this around here like this. But you got to bend your, you know, you got to bend your bow. But it's going to go around here. I'll show you when we get out there to build the fire. Like I said, I used a uh, boot string last couple times I did this. But anyway, it's going to go similar to that. But it'll be like this. Um, there's a picture of it right up here so yeah that's what we're going to do and then um make sure it's okay everything's here so let me cool down and we'll get this show on the road okay guys so here we go we're going to set you up on the stopwatch and it's started okay set that over here monkey says 20 minutes i think she's crazy all right now this says to use the pointy end down. I always, I always use the blunt end down. But the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to just get get it started. To I'm trying to stay over here because it's kind of windy right now. But you're going to want to get it started and see. That's the thing about these cheap things. It's actually not cheap. This thing was like 25 bucks. All right, let me let me get this put back on here, and then we'll start over again. Okay, let's do this again. Start our timer. Now I'm going to use. I want the friction to be down here not up here and I want this to be less friction so I'm going to put the point up to the top like I always do and we want to get it kind of burnt in you don't want to put a lot of pressure on it like too much but you want to put some pressure on it
and I'm not sure. I think it's just pine. Okay, it's starting to heat up. So, I'll put my foot on here. This board is just to catch the embers. And let's see, it's got to kind of be straight, you know. All right, here we go. So what we can do here. I smell it. It's definitely pine. <laughs> Okay, see if we got it burn in yet. Hell oh, yeah, it's starting to burn in there. Nice. Now, let's turn it over since I got that point off of there. Let's try it the way they suggest. See the smoke? Watch right down in here, you'll see some smoke. Well, I had a coal, I just sweated in it. <laughs> Lube that up a little bit there on top. Still wet where I sweated. May have to move over here in the shade a little more. Uh, we're looking at four and a half minutes. Let's pause this so I can move over here a little more. Pause it at exactly four and a half minutes. Um, I should do it up on the table, but you guys will be moving around. Um, let me see. Maybe we can. No, because I can't. Uh, so hot out here. Hang on, let me get, I gotta get set up a little better. Okay, this might be better. I'm in the shade. I got a piece of cardboard so that way it'll lay flatter. Not that it's gonna help the fire take off any better, but we're right where we left off. All right, now. Uh -huh. 
Uh, here we go. Can you guys see? All right. Take my glasses off. There's some smoke, which means I gotta keep going. I just sweated in it again. Probably have to go and put my hat on, but that's what we're looking for. Put that in there. All right. Just gonna, gonna keep going. Uh, just popped it off of there. Nope, not quite. Had an ember on it. I gotta take a break. I'm gonna pause this. 747. Then I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys. Starting back off. 747. I started it. I flipped that wood around because I sweated on the other side and it got wet. So here we go. Oh, 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 I've got a number. I've got a number. Hang on. Hang on. I didn't get my ember right dead center, but hang on. I usually got, I'm sweating in it. I usually have, Come on, stay with me. Oh, I just sweated in it again. I usually have um, 
dryer lint with me but it's in my backpack and my backpack's in the truck works a lot better than this jute, trunk, jute twine doesn't help me sweating in it alright let's do this again alright move that over here and let's get started again here yeah, I didn't even put it on the... On the cardboard, because I seen it down in the bottom there. It was real tiny. Here we go again. More than 12 minutes. Oh, there it is, there it is. There it is. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, I sweated in it again. Let me get some more jute twine. We're on 13 and a half minutes. Let me get some more jute twine. Fluff it up better than that. All right, guys, I'm back. I fluffed that up a little bit batter and put about another inch a piece on an inch of jute twine on there still at 1340 so here we go do this again <coughs> I got my shirt wrapped around my head right now so whoops and it just fell off so maybe it'll help keep the sweat from dropping in to my coal. <sighs> got one, got one, got one. Got one. Come on. Ah, oh, hang it. All right, let me get some more twine. We're at 17 minutes. Let me get some more twine. Let me pause that. 1713. And I'll be right back with you. Hang tight. Okay, got some more twine in there. Whoo. We're going to try this again. Alright, right, here we go. Sorry about the squeaking noise, but hopefully I turn that, a, turn that down enough so it doesn't irritate you guys. Because it irritates me. I can't turn it down here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wait, I gotta set the timer or start the timer. There we go. Oh, it's on here. Shoot. Got it. Got it. Hang on. Hang on. Let me burn that. It's 
Spanish moss is not working very well. But. Alright. I'm just going to speed you guys up for this. We're at 20 minutes right now. So. I'm going to speed you up right now. Twenty-three thirty-five. Let's go over to the fire pit. baby let me get some more of that palm stuff Spanish moss some of this stuff Back up a little bit. Dang. <clears throat> almost beat my personal record. Not quite, but almost. Oh, the wind came good. cardboard might as well use it all right I'm gonna get this kicked up oh, <coughs> and I'll be back with you guys in just a second we got her going now Okay guys, we got her going. Monkey made it back. Yep. Creeper's here. Great. <laughs> uh, to get it where it's going now. So 28 minutes, 27 seconds to get an actual usable sustained fire. But to get it into flames, you know, it was what, what was it, 23 minutes. So I just kept it going after I saw the 23. But yeah, cool. 
uh, I still say my homemade stuff is easier so but it's good to know I can still do it if I have to so right mama I can't hear you guys. It's good to know that I can still do it if I have to survival situation the best thing and that jute twine I don't like that so um, if you're going out hiking even for a day hike carry a little bit of dryer lint put it in your pocket weighs nothing takes up no room and that stuff will ignite like that I like it better than that jute twine where's that jute twine I like it better than this it works a lot better than this now this worked but you know I mean if you can carry this you can carry a handful of dryer lint which like I said is in my backpack which is in the truck so or I would have used it so all right guys I'll be back with you when we start cooking okay so now that we built a fire at a hundred degrees um, let's go ahead are you recording <laughs> um, Let's go ahead and get some of these vegetables cut up. Peppers and onions. How do you want the sausage? You want it cut up in little pieces? Whatever you want to do. No, I'm asking you. I don't care. Yeah, they'll probably be fine. Because we don't have buns, so. Right. All right, we got these here. There's what, three? Three in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we got these sausages. Sure. Eckrich, Eckrich farm. Got some oil here. Um, you might hear some breezing here and there, but that's because I got the fan sitting here next to me. Because I just spent a half an hour building the fire, so. Okay, we'll get this ready. I won't show you every single one, but my little paw prints on there. But we're camping, guys. I was watching, a, I was reading comments on a YouTube video a guy made, and somebody's commenting, Oh, your hands are dirty. Your knife's dirty. <laughs> I was like, I commented, I said, he's camping. You know, <laughs> so... What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this up. And take the uh, seeds out. Right. Um, let me see. Let me get a trash bag here. Monkey did bring them today. I forgot to remind her what well, Friday and. She forgot too, so always forget trash bags for some reason. But usually, you know, we have the uh, grocery bags we use. That's what we used Friday was a grocery bag. It's down there. This trash bag here. And we'll just I want to kind of just cut them up a long ways anyhow. I'll just show you one and then we'll skip to the onion. You can use whatever ones you want. This is what she picked up. You can use the green ones. You can use all different colors. Not a big deal. And this. Just cut like this. that and the same thing just the meat the white stuff a lot of people eat it it's fine with me but some people don't like it I just cut it out it's not a big deal won't hurt you um, you can use hot peppers like jalapenos if you want to add in here it's whatever peppers you like Make sure you guys are in in zoom in view here.
however thick or thin you like them. You can dice them if you want. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to do something like this. Then I'm just going to cut them in half. Just like that. So I'm going to do that to the other two. So we've got red, yellow, and orange. So that's what I'm going to keep doing with, with these. And then I'll bring you back. I'm going to do the whole onion too. And then we'll put everything in this foil. And I'll show you what we're going to do after that. On to the onion. Sorry about the background noise. There's air boats. Well, you know, we are camping beside a swamp, so we're going to have that. They did regulate it. You can't run them after 10 o'clock at night. Because there are houses not close to here, but around this area where the airboats can go. And, uh, you know, it bothers them late at night. Because, you know... The guys running their airboats, you know, they wear those noise canceling headphones and stuff like that. They don't hear it. So, they don't realize other people do. Or they just don't care, one of the two. Not all airboaters are bad, but 90% of the ones I've met, they don't even like to talk to you. They won't wave at you if they're going past you. It's like, I don't know. What we're going to do with this, just going to cut it in half and cut it up. It don't have to be diced, but it can be. Don't have to be. I can tell you what, this little knife, so is our trail. It came in a kit that her mom got me a couple years ago for Christmas. I haven't sharpened it yet, and I think it might need it, but. I mean, as you can see, it's not bad. It cuts a tomato just fine, too. So, this Ozark Trail knife, been a great knife. I think if you just buy the knife alone, I think it's like 15 bucks or something. But, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of, no rhyme or reason. Hmm. It's kind of like making fair food, really. All right, now I'm going to set this over in here. I'm going to have to get a bigger piece of aluminum foil for that. I just um, just grabbed that to put it on there. Yes, I'm eating a raw onion. Keep some monkeys away. Get it, monkey. All right, now. And I've used this knife to cut wood. Not like chop down trees, but, you know, whittle a piece of wood and stuff. And these, I'm just going to cut up in about one inch sections. And then after I do that, then I'm just going to cut them in half, just like that. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And I'll get it over there and then I'll show you how I'm going to wrap them up. Okay, so we got all that cut up. Now, you just roll out what you want. Good sausage at Eckridge. Okay, let's get our 
stuff here. Coles, and there's Bruno's. There we go. I'm gonna let it cook. Okay, guys, let's see what we got here. I had to take it off a little bit sooner than what I wanted because if you can hear, it's pouring down rain. Hopefully it's done. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm sure it's done. Nice. Looks good. There we go. All right, guys, we're going to dip this out. We're going to eat. Bruno's in the truck. <laughs> You'll have to wait. But. The truck developed a problem. That's my raincoat over the window. Monkey broke it. Break it. She went to put the window up, and I seen it going up and down, up and down. No, it wasn't going up and down. It wasn't moving. It wasn't going anywhere. No, I seen it. But anyway, that's the ones that don't go all the way down. Well, that one, for some reason, went all the way down. So. It's just like not having a window in it. Anyway, oh, I'm fogging up. All right, let's uh, let's eat, guys. You don't eat it off and out, anyways. I gotta use it. I don't really need your cooties. I don't have cooties. Do you do? No, I don't. You have cooties. Got the fire going again, didn't we? Yeah. I didn't use fire bow this time. No, he tried to blow up instead. I cheated. Because <laughs> everything got soaked. But, that window's not supposed to go all the way down. <laughs> so, it's only supposed to like come halfway or whatever. I seen her trying to get it put up and I was like, what the hell? I seen it going up and down. And then I looked up and it like wasn't there. And I didn't think about it until she said, babe, the window won't come up. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's not supposed to go all the way down. So the track must have broke and then, but I still can't hear the motor running. So maybe the motor broke and dropped it. I don't know. That upcoming video, mm. trying to get that pink thing off of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your raincoat. Yeah, my raincoat. It's not pink, it's red. Then I was out here trying to bring the food in. I said, oh crap. She said, we well, have a raincoat. I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. You good? Still fun. Still better than any good day at work. All right, guys. So. All right, just want to give you a quick update. They're roasting marshmallows. <laughs> I had to bring you in for that. Mom trying to roast marshmallows. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, guys, I'll be back with you. Story time. Um, monkey took her mom back to the house. So I thought I would do story time. Man, it's still hot. Did get my pulse rate to go down some. Um, 121 right now, so <clears throat> it was up in the 160s when I was starting a fire, but then I got it to go down, um, it got down to about 132 right before we ate, or when we was getting ready to eat, so 121 now, so that's good, still hot out, <clears throat> but anyway, story time, true story. Um, so, about, I think, I 
you guys hear that? Oh, I got the knife. Again, I didn't I didn't take my uh backpack out of the car and it's got the machete and a hatchet in it. I'm not worried about the bears. I'm worried about the uh the hogs, <laughs> the boar. He sat down so it should be all right now. He don't like it out here at this place. It's a hard time getting him out of the truck. When you get him out of the truck, he likes to go in the tent. The other place is a lot more calm. But anyway, um, probably about, it was 2011 or 2012. Um, maybe even a year or two before that, give or take. It was right in that area. It was a couple days before um before Easter uh, my I always called him my brother-in-law but it was my my sister's late fiance he, he had passed away unfortunately um so anyway fast forward to recent times monkey and I had just gotten together and it was... I'm thinking it was right around New Year because we went over to this place called the Villages and we spent New Year's Eve there and then we um, and of course they always close up around 9 o'clock there the band stops and all that then we went back to my sister's house because we didn't want to drive like a 50 minute drive from my sister's out to where we're living out to our house so we just decided to stay at my sister, so we went back to my sister so that way we could have some drinks. And we hung out with, had a fire, had a bonfire and stuff, my sister's neighbors. And then we went in, hung out with, with Sissy and Aunt Kay, and uh, she's just a really good friend. Aunt Kay's a really good friend of uh, my sister's, but she's just always been known as Aunt Kay. <laughs> so, uh, and before Monkey and I met, uh, Kay and I would always go out back and have a bonfire. We were we were bonfire buddies. Wonderful lady. Um, but anyway, so we hung out hung out there, and uh, I think we ended up spending a couple nights there. You know, just to visit. You know, didn't have to work. I wasn't working yet, so. Um, in fact, I got hired on my birthday, January fourteenth of. It would have been 2017. Um, so, yeah, it was right before then. So, so I think it was right around New Year's. So we spent a couple nights there. And then, of course, Monkey had to go back to work. And she was like, you want to come with me? And I'm like, well, sure, you know, I'll ride along with you. And um, so we had to get out to the house and so she could change and everything, get ready to go to work. We couldn't find her cell phone. Now, Bob, my sister's late fiance, he was always a prankster. He was always a joker. He would do, you know, he'd play pranks on people. Nothing major, just stupid little things that was funny. And, uh, you know, it made him who he was. You know, he was just a fun guy to be around. And uh, he, uh, so, you know, he would play little little jokes on people and stuff so we couldn't find her cell phone we looked for a good half an hour because we was we was only you know I mean in the dining room around the table that's where we'd sit and have our drinks and whatnot and in the bedroom we was only in them two places monkey couldn't find her phone she said I don't know she said I had it sitting right here on the stand there was like a nightstand there well it was like a hutch but it was in the bedroom she said, I had it sitting right there. Charger was there, but her phone wasn't there. And we kept looking around. 
uh, we went out and checked in the truck several times. She said, no, I, I, I brought it in. I was using it, you know. And I was like, I don't know. And she says, well, we're going, you know, we got to get going. I said, well, I know. we got to find your phone. And she said, well, where could it be? And I said, tell Bob that you really need your phone. And because she had already heard the story about Bob. I said, tell Bob you, you need your phone, and we, we really got to go. You appreciate it, but we got to go. And she did. She said, Bob, she said, I know. She said, I know it's all fun and everything, but she says, now it's time. We I really have to go, Bob. I really got to go. And she was just like saying it in the house. And um, I said, yeah, Bob. I said, that was a good one. You really got us this time. I said, that was really good. I said, now just, you know. Give, give her phone back so we can go because she's got to go to work, you know. And so we looked one more time around the table area, which was pretty well cleared off. I mean, you could look at it and see that there was nothing there. Her phone wasn't there. And we walked back in the bedroom, and this was, I don't know, maybe even 30, 40. It was less than a minute. I guarantee it was less than a minute when we said that. Walked back in the bedroom, as soon as we walked in, that hutch was there, and there was nothing on the hutch. Her phone was the only thing that would set there, or my phone, or wallet, or whatever. And, you know, I'd already had my phone picked up, and, you know, my wallet and everything, so there was nothing there. We walked in, her phone was sent right there on that hutch. True story, you can ask Monkey about that. It was less than a minute after we said, Bob, that's a good one. You really got us this time, but we really have to go. She's got to go to work. And we walked in, and there was her phone. Explain that to me. Is it paranormal? Did we just overlook it? But like I said, there was nothing on that hutch except for two phones and my wallet and the truck keys. And when we went to leave, my phone, my wallet, and the truck keys were there and her charger were there because I picked my stuff up and she picked her keys up but we couldn't find her phone. Charger was there but her phone wasn't. And she had her phone on the charger so that's why we was like, you know, it had to be there. It had to be there somewhere. So it's not like it was, there was a bunch of stuff that it could have got something set on it. There was nothing on that little hutch, you know. And uh, sure enough, as soon as we walked in, she said, oh, and I said, what? She pointed down, she said, look, and there was her phone sitting right there. We were together the whole time looking for this phone, you know, so she didn't do it, I didn't do it, and we were the only ones in the house, so, I, tell me guys, I mean, what do you think? Was it paranormal? I mean, it's looking that way. I mean, I would have to say, yeah, but could we have overlooked it? I mean, yeah, but when I took, you know, put my stuff in my pockets, grab my phone, my wallet, she grabs the keys, and her charger's there. Her phone wasn't, so. And I wasn't using her charger because mine took the, the mini, what is it, mini USB or whatever, and hers was um, the C. Or vice versa, anyway, her charger wouldn't fit my phone, and my charger wouldn't fit her phone so and she, I said oh you gotta thank you now she said thanks Bob and she unplugged the charger and we left um, we told my sister about that and she said yeah there's always stuff going on around here and James the guy she she married said yeah he plays tricks on me too like uh, like sometimes he wouldn't be able to find his wallet and then when he'd say you know Bob I need my wallet and then it would be right where he looked a hundred times, you know, same way with us. Couldn't find her phone. We looked there a hundred times, I mean, you know, there's nothing there. It couldn't have got shoved under something. There's nothing on top of that. So, but I want to tell you that story, true story. Yeah, and if my sister was alive, she'd back you up on that because as soon as we got in the truck, she called Sissy. And uh, she said, yeah, <laughs> she said, Bob played a trick on me. She said, and immediately, she had her on speaker. She said, Sissy, this is Laura. 
She said, yeah, what's up? You guys all right? She said, yeah, we're getting ready to leave right now. We're just backing out. She said, uh, just want to tell you, Bob played a trick on me. And she said, yeah, what'd he hide? That's exactly what my sister said. I'll never forget that. What'd he hide from you? And she said, my phone. And she said, oh, well, she usually hide." or she said, oh, well, he usually hides um, James's wallet, so I'm surprised Morty's wallet wasn't missing. She said, no, it was my phone. And she said, so how'd you find that out? She said, it was on that hutch in the bedroom. She said, we looked all over for it and couldn't find it. And she said, Marty told me to say, hey, Bob, I really got to go. You know, good joke, you got me. She said, I said that, and we walked in the room, and there it was. She said, yeah, he does that all the time. Sometimes, she says, sometimes he hides my keys from me. <laughs> you believe that or not, I don't care if you do or not. But I believe it because it happened to me. And like I said, Sissy had stuff hidden from her. And, you know, Bob's daughter, my niece, Snowy, that's her real name. Her real name on her birth certificate is Snow Blossom. Yeah, but Snowy, yeah, she, um, uh, she said, yeah, Dad does that stuff to me all the time, too. So he would hide her, her tablet or her phone or whatever. And it would turn up a little while later, you know, as soon as she would say, Dad, I, I need my tablet or my phone, whatever. She said, and then it, it would be in a place she knew she looked several times. So that's a true story, guys. Yep. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to go stoke the fire a little bit. Monkey will be back here in a little while. Um, so like I said, we're only about six miles well we're six miles from the house so uh, so she's gonna take her mom get her settled in make sure she's all right for the night hopefully I'll be able to I don't feel sick tonight my tooth is killing me but Friday night if it was just my tooth I could handle it because you know my tooth's gonna hurt me whether I'm here or at home you know so I think I don't know if it was the heat that got me or my tooth is so infected that might have had something to do with it but, I mean, other than my tooth, I'm feeling all right right now. But if you watch my last video, when I'm in the tent telling you guys good night and stuff, you look at my face, it's all red, and my eyes are all bloodshot and stuff. And you can tell I wasn't feeling good. But when, when I started getting my right arm and my right leg started going numb, I was like, yeah, we better go. <laughs> but I'm feeling okay now. I'm, I'm, I'm still hot, but I'm feeling all right. So, hopefully... Cause we got to tear down in the morning anyway so we got to break camp and then and then i i gotta <laughs> take the door apart so you got i'll bring you guys along with me on that i don't know if it's what it's going to need but i'm sure it's going to need some parts i'll have to order you just can't go to the parts store and get that stuff so i'll have to order parts but if anything, you know, I'm going to try to get the window to come up and keep it up and make sure it stays up, you know, because of rain and stuff. I'm not taping plastic over that window. That's just nasty looking. <laughs> the window's not broke, so hopefully I can get it to go up, and, you know, get it to stay up, wired up or something until I can get the parts in and we can fix it. But I'll bring it along with me for that. And then I got some, um, I've got a lot of, I've got what, four kind of like review videos to do that, that the company has sent me some things they've sent me for items so I got to get those done but last week I was just I was just really sick I was down my tooth was hurting but that's not what took me down I don't know it's just you know real lightheaded nauseous and tunnel vision and blurriness and stuff and it was just just couldn't get out and do anything then it was heat index was over 100 every day this past week so it was over 100 today so but her mom had a good time and uh that's good she really enjoyed it she said man i feel kind of tired and i said well that's what it does you know when you get out and you know you're sitting there and then of course her belly got full you know she ate and um so yeah we're having a great time mm. She said, you want to see if you can get a couple more days and extend it? And I was like, no, which we would have had to leave tomorrow anyway, because I got, I got to get that window fixed or at least get it to stay up. So I said, no, I got too much stuff to do this coming week. So, all right, guys.
I'll be back with you here shortly when monkey gets back or something I'll be back with you sorry I didn't have story time that's another thing she was like you didn't have story time Friday night and I was like no I didn't it was just because that's what I was going to do in the tent because she likes story time too so but I did I just wasn't feeling the greatest I'm, I'm feeling okay now other than my tooth I'm feeling good so I'm gonna go stoke the fire I'll be back with you guys The monkey made it back. Yep. Why are you blurry? I don't know. My lens, probably. Condensation? Probably. Mm-hmm. Got that light up there. Mm -hmm. Check this out, though. This is interesting. Monkey yeah. fixed it. Monkey broke it and monkey fixed it. Yep. How'd you fix it again? Just played with the door thingy. The button. On the drawer. I think it just got wet. No. That ain't gonna cause it to go all the way down. I don't know why it went all the way down. I'm afraid to touch you keep it saying it got wet. No, it did not get wet. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to. It just wouldn't work at all, but it wouldn't go all the way down. It's not supposed to. Yeah. So it just um it just went up. Yeah, just started to go up after I played with it like three or four times. Hmm. I don't know. I don't either. But I ain't putting it back down for a while. <laughs> I still got to find out what's wrong with it because it's not yeah. fixed. It'll do it again. Yeah, it will. Maybe that's why your dad was having trouble with yours. He just kept putting it back on track and not replacing anything. No, he, he bought the clips. There were those little plastic clips, and that was the problem. They kept breaking. They were horrible. So it's because the window wasn't lined up right. Mm -hmm. But like that, it's going to do it again. It did it once, it'll do it again. If you don't fix it, it ain't fixed, you know. You think the motor's starting to go in it? No, the motor's working. Yeah, it did. But it's not supposed to go all the way down. Remember, those windows only go like halfway down. Mm -hmm. It's that child safety stuff. Right. But that one was all the way freaking down. Yeah. So I'm surprised it came back up. Yeah, me too. I really was. <laughs> yeah, there's our camp. There's me. Shadow. Shadow puppets. All right. So we're just having some fun. She's been back for a few minutes. Yeah. Bruno's in the truck. <laughs> I don't know why. I got a fan out here. I don't know why he's in the truck, but he is, so that's where he's content. Okay, guys, we're in the tent. It's about midnight. Ah, it's 12.10, so it's 10 minutes after 12. So we thought we'd come in. I'm gonna try to watch a show that I downloaded on the computer and I don't know what monkey's gonna do I don't know what monkey's gonna do I don't either <laughs> <laughs> okay so anyway good night guys I'll kick you back on if we're gonna talk about anything or if anything happens if not I'll see you guys in the morning we got to tear down in the morning don't we yeah but like all the small stuff we pretty much got packed away except for you know our sleeping pads and our sl our sleeping bags and uh, that's pretty much it the rest of the other stuff's put away so yeah it shouldn't take too long well it won't take long at all to take the tent down because I've done that a hundred times but that big behemoth out there I don't know <laughs> but monkey wants to keep it don't you monk yeah, because it really helped us out today. Yeah. Because the three of us either would have been in this tent trying to eat, yeah. and we would have had to try to get her mom's walker in here, yeah. because uh, she would have never been able to sit down on the floor or in the truck, which, you know, back still got stuff in it, so there's only enough room for two people in there up front. So, 
they would have been in the truck and I would have been in the tent. Didn't rain that long, but still, you know, you want to have dinner with your family. So it came in handy, didn't it? Yes, it did. It was good. We weren't wet. And yeah. We, we were fine. Yep, we were fine. So, turn my fan back on. We heard a rumbling noise yeah. back behind us. We thought it was uh, thunder, but then it wasn't thunder. I don't know. Kind of sounded like a, I don't know, a truck going down a bumpy road, you know, a big heavy truck. And then it just kind of faded away. So that must have been what it was. So anyway, guys, I'll see you in the morning. Tell them night, Ma. Night, yeah. <laughs> we, she's got a fan on her. I got a, a little tiny fan on me. So uh, hopefully we'll stay cool enough. Still hotter than hell, isn't it? Yeah, but it's better than Friday. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. We'll see you in a few. What are you singing, Monk? Mm -hmm. What are you singing? Brick in the wall. Another brick in the wall? Yeah. You're singing Pink Floyd. Yeah, Pink Floyd. Okay. It's a good ass song. That was funny. I'm just sitting here, guys, and all at once I hear, I hear they're humming, and then I hear, another brick in the wall. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Oh my my. I got cold play on here too. Good for you. Alright guys. <laughs> Morning guys. It's about 8.30. Uh, we're getting ready to pack up. Like I said, we got most of the small stuff last night other than a couple little things in there and our bedding stuff. <clears throat> so I gotta get this all wiped down. And then, uh, get that wiped down so I'm going to spare you that I know it's, it's kind of boring even in fast motion but not feeling good again so anyway we got to get packed up so we can get out of here thanks for watching guys I appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man the legend gone for now Monk what? you want to say bye I just got up <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.